Urban development has transformed San Francisco's connection with water, its most important natural resource. Though our relationship with water changes over time, its importance in our lives never diminishes. Every San Franciscan has a watershed story. Hello, I'm Woody LaBounty from the Sunset Watershed, and this is my watershed story. I grew up on the west side of town in the Richmond District, and I had family in the Sunset District. And I knew there were tons of historical stories out here, interesting stories of amusement parks and sand dunes, and I went to go find if there was history of my neighborhood that I could look up, and there really wasn't at the library. So we started Western Neighborhoods Project, which is a nonprofit that focuses on this side of town, the former outside lands. The old outside lands, because it was outside the city limits at one point, was mostly sand dunes. And a lot of people thought it was maybe uninhabitable. It was cold and foggy, and it was called a cold desert. The first people to come out to these sand dunes were kind of pioneers. They either needed a lot of space, dynamite factories moved out here. Big chicken ranch, Larson's Chicken Ranch, was up here just a couple blocks from where I'm standing. And uh, he needed a lot of land for that. But the first residents were people who just wanted to get out of town, be closer to the ocean, be closer to nature. But it was a lot of challenges because no sewer lines, no water lines, no, no electricity or gas. So you had to have a pioneer spirit to really be some of the first people out here. Even though it was called a cold desert and a bunch of sand dunes, there was water out here. There were seasonal ponds that would fill up and there was a giant aquifer of groundwater underneath the sand dunes. So the first people to come out here dug wells out near the beach, just 500 yards from the salty ocean, and it would hit the aquifer and pump up water. So that was necessary. You had to have water. You really couldn't live out here. We're in Golden Gate Heights, which now is a very residential neighborhood full of houses. But in the early 20th century, there were only a few cottages here. And the people who lived here, they needed water. They couldn't really drill down to get water at this location. So the city brought a water wagon that would come down around where 19th Avenue is today. And housewives mostly would drag down barrels and buckets and pans, fill up with water from the water barrel, and then bring it back up to their cottage. It was the only way you could really live out here until the water mains were brought in. In the late 1920s, the city actually started developing the streets up here, and water mains came with that development. So that was key to making the old sand dunes the chock-a-block residential district it is today, the Sunset District. When these houses were first built in the Sunset District, they had little strips of lawn in the front. And uh, over time, those lawns have been paved over. And I really feel like we need to take that pavement out and we need to put some sort of drought-resistant plantings there and let that water seep back through to the aquifer. We didn't know it was important when I was a kid, but now it's like not only would beautify the sidewalk, but it would be important to bring that stormwater back into the recharge the aquifer. San Francisco is always a city in change. There's always new people coming in, there's always new stories being made, but the old stories we think give a grounding to these newcomers. They can kind of realize that they're making a home in a place where there was a home before. The history I think just informs and allows us to figure out what we want to do in the future as the city continues to change. Discover your watershed story.